Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my February favorites. I'm actually refilming this because the first time that I did it, I sounded really, really like, Hey guys, these are my February favorites. So I'm redoing it. Um, I will start with skincare. And I got the Strivectin SD eye cream, which this is just Strivectin. Um, they made like a body cream and people wanted to use it on their eyes because it worked so well everywhere else. And um, the only problem was that they had peppermint in this. And peppermint around your eyes doesn't really sound that pleasant. So they changed it and they just took out the aromatic oils, i.e. peppermint, and this is what they made. So this I actually got on a recommendation from Michelle Fawn. Anyone who watches her videos has probably seen her use this before. And um, it's supposed to reduce puffiness around your eyes, help uh, reduce and prevent wrinkles, and reduce um, under eye circles. And as far as I can tell, it helps with all of those things. I've only been using it for a couple of weeks, and you really don't have to use very much. But um, even after the first day, I could tell that my eyes were a lot less puffy than they had been. So I really like this stuff. I'm really impressed with it. I'm going to do probably a full review of it once I've been using it longer so that I can tell you guys what I really think. Next thing I've really, really been loving is this Clean and Clear Advantage. It's just a salicylic acne medication. I've been having a lot of acne issues lately. If you guys have been watching my videos, you've probably been like, Ew, what's up with your skin? Um, it's going crazy right now. What can I say? It happens. And then I've also, because of that, I've also been loving my amazing concealer, which I finally got. It's really expensive, but I really, really do think that it's worth it. Um, if you guys want, I can do a separate review on this. I know this is also something you guys have probably seen Michelle Fawn use, um, and I can see why she really likes it, because it's really, really good. You really need just a tiny, tiny amount, and it'll conceal your under eye circles and um, any other blemishes. So, I like that about this. The other thing that I really like about this concealer is that it really doesn't settle into your fine lines. It does a little bit, but I think it's just kind of a hazard with concealer because it's really hard if there's a little crevice to keep a cream product from sinking into it at some point during the day. So I use a tiny, tiny bit of this. If you use too much, then it will definitely crease a whole lot. But if you use a tiny bit and you set it with some powder, it'll be fine and it lasts all day and I really like it. So definite favorite. Um, another thing that I've really been liking is my Hypnos Perfume from Lancome and this is the 2 point something 2.5 fluid ounce bottle I've had a bottle of this before it was I think the 1.7 fluid ounce um, and I got that one for Valentine's Day and I got it when I was about 14 So, and I used the whole thing up it lasted about a year so this one I'm expecting to last longer um, I got this again because I realized how much I miss it um, it's part of my favorite perfumes video, if any of you guys have watched that video of mine. Um, but it smells really, really nice. It it smells like me, I guess. That's kind of a cheesy thing to say about perfume. But I really like vanilla, and um, I printed off like a little description of it. Of course, the description is all dramatic and stuff because they want to sell sell the perfume as much as they possibly can. Um, it says, Hypnos is a captivating fragrance for a charming woman with a surprising and intriguing attitude. Uh, slip into this luxurious, or no, not luxurious, slip into this luminous oriental fragrance that instantly captivates with passion flower, vanilla, and vet vetiver. I don't know how you would say that. V-E-T-I-V-E-R. Um, notes. Let it empower you to be your most mesmerizing self. The luxurious bottle is a jewel carved in glass, evocative of a woman's silhouette with facets that shimmer in the light. So... Not only are they marketing this fragrance, they are marketing the bottle, which, I mean, it's very pretty. Um, it's fun to twist around because it kind of twists. But anyway, I'm going to stop <laughs> just goofing around. But anyways, I really love this. I love vanilla scents. Um, and this one is just sweet enough without being too sweet. So I really love this. And then another, well, first I will finish my makeup. Another thing I've been loving is my Orgasm Blush from NARS. I actually just recently got this. Um, I've used it in a couple tutorials. At first, I wasn't... I know everyone raves about this, and they're like, it's the best blush ever. But, um... And I actually didn't get this color for a really long time because I'd seen it in Sephora and I'd swatched it. Um, and I heard all the great things about this blush and how it's an excellent everyday blush and universally flattering and all that fancy stuff. But I didn't really... I don't know. 
I just wasn't really, didn't really feel like purchasing it, I guess. Um, but I finally did get it because I was kind of like, you know what, if everyone raves about it, there's got to be a reason. So I did finally order it and I really, really love this. It's really easy to wear. It's, n it's very pigmented, but it's not to the point where you have to be super, super careful applying it. So it's just a really, really good everyday blush. If that's what you're looking for, then this is, um, definitely something to check out. Um, it's more expensive, but it will last you a really long time. And also, I think they were correct in saying that this is a universally flattering shade. Um, just because I don't really see, I don't, I don't see anyone's skin tone that this wouldn't complement in some way, shape, or form. So, love that. And then for non-makeup things, this is going to be really quick. Um, I love tea lately. This is my favorite tea mug. I think it's from Pure One. Yeah, Pure One. The pattern is called Tranquil, but I really love tea lately, and the kind I've been drinking most is from Tivana, and Tivana, I really, really love it. If you have a store where you live and you're a tea person, first of all, you probably already know about it. Second of all, if you um, haven't checked it out, then you should, because it's awesome. It's like tea heaven. <laughs> it's, oh my goodness. It's delicious. Um, but they have a lot of different teas, and they're all loose teas, so they're not processed or anything like that. A lot of them are handmade. They have organic teas, too. So I really like them. The kind that I've been drinking most recently is the Thai blend. Um, and then my favorite kind from them is probably their uh, Masala Chai, which is just a black chai tea, but it's the best chai tea I've ever had. It's really, really good. But just in case you do want to go check out their website, I will put a link in the sidebar. I think it's this way. I'll put a link in the sidebar if you want to go check out their website. Um, they make really, really excellent teas, and I very much recommend them. And then the last thing, I guess I'm switching back to beauty. Or this isn't the last thing. There's one more thing after this. <laughs> um, this is a nail polish from Sephora by OPI. But it's called I'm With Brad. And this is one of the three nail polishes that came in the little 500 point bonus from uh, Sephora. This is the color that I really love because I've really, I have actually two other uh, kind of black with red sparkle nail polishes already and when I put them on they tend to look brown unless you look at them really closely or you, you have them catch the light. Um, and this one actually doesn't look brown if it's just like indoor light. It, it still looks really dark, it looks almost black, but it doesn't look brown, which kind of always irritated me. I think because the shimmer in this is a little bit more uh, magenta than red. But my last favorite for this month that I'm going to show you guys is my booties. I love these things. Um, I actually walk around the house with these on all the time just because my feet get cold and I like having something on them. So I actually have like three pairs. I have one that I wear for dancing. I have two that I wear around the house. And actually I have four pairs. Then I have an, uh, um, another pair that was my first pair and I don't really wear them anymore. So I love booties. They're very warm and comfy. And these that I'm wearing right now are from Gap. They were on sale and I got them for Christmas and it was awesome. So I'm going to stop babbling, but those are my February favorites. Um, if anyone, if you like these products or if you want to do a video response, um, I would really love to see that, and if you have February favorites that you would like to share, then post a comment below, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye! And then my last favorite for this munch, the <laughs> for this munch, my favorite for this munch is...